Oh, thank God you're here. What's going on? I've got some bad news, friend. You're in terrible trouble. What? Diego is beside himself with worry. Well, wait a minute, hold on. What are you talking about? The police got some of our merchandise, but it's you we're worried about. Why? You see, we're utilitarians. The greatest good for the greatest number. And there are two of us, but only one of you. So Diego suggested we explain to the police that the cocaine was yours. Well, oh, 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 my, oh, yeah, that's very thoughtful of you. And unfortunately, I have this paperwork showing your involvement in the project. Unless we could resolve this little distraction. And how do you suggest we do that? You steal the cocaine back for us. It's uh, been impounded. Mm. You must steal it before they take it back to the police station. <sighs> Thank you, Vic. I do so enjoy our conversations. I find you very inspiring. Thanks. Here we go again. Have fun! It's incredible, you know what I mean? These boats. I mean, you know, you see guys standing around thinking about what comes natural and primal. You know, like in a circle. Hey, you bet your sweet ass, but I'm here representing my product. Something I invented, you know. And no serious owner should ever consider going into the wilderness without her. It's deer urine. Uh, hey, now what in the high holy hell are you talking about, sir? Have you ever curved yourself in deer urine? The bucks can't resist it, boy. They'll roll up on you. Look at old wild I, I don't care. I ain't putting no animal urine on me. I will. I mean, for the show. That just about wraps up our program, broadcasting from the Vice City Boat and Sports Show. Stop down here if you can. You'll see a lot of things make you proud to be a man. Like other men. Like, uh, like, like guns and, and yeah, 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 yeah. Flags for your trucks. Beating up on little girls and stuff like that. You know, yeah. new ways from technology of yeah. showing who is the dominant species. Till next time. Stick in your rod and screw the lip. And if it moves, fill it full of holes. Amen to that. <laughs> oh. There are some cargo containers at the police impound. Our coke is hidden inside them, all mixed up amongst the other cargo. Don't worry. I'll get them out of there. Muy bien. I'll be in touch. They've infiltrated this. American Oil and Motors presents the Time Ranger. He travels through time, hunting the biggest game of all, public enemies that try to destroy our America. Ernest Kegel, a man of mystery, well, a student of science and polygamy, a man who has a time machine in his pants, that when he masters, he travels back in time to right wrongs, save women, and pleasure himself. With his sometimes lover, when he's intoxicated, the lovely Trixie Lane, the Time Ranger meets up with danger tonight in... Boxing the One-Eyed Clown! Boy, boy, oh, boy. Oh, oh, Eddie, oh, Bernie, oh. do you have to carry on like this every night? Quiet, Dame, quiet, will ya? I always emotional at the wrong time. Oh, Ernie, Don't Ernie. Ernie me. Go sit in the corner, you dumb cluck. This is something I gotta do. Not just for me, not just for you, but for everyone. Why, when I take out my time machine, I can go just about anywhere. I'm mine wanted, see? And I'm a Union soldier storming into the home of a defenseless southern slave owner. Or at a Roman orgy somewhere with a Centurion's helmet on. Or the girls' locker room at a high school at some uh, godforsaken town. Now, if you'll pardon me, Toots, I shall go into the commode there and travel back in time. Be back in about five. And so our hero travels back in time. Where to? He never knows. Senor, take the containers to the drop-off point. Sire, why art thou getting intimate with thine self in yonder corner? Ah, say what? You can't see me. I'm uh, completely invisible. Now, don't break my concentration, kid. 
Vikings must have traveled to the wrong place. I wanted to be at a Viking solstice feast with a couple of milkmaidens sampling the dairy products. You get the idea. But I too can see thee. You better put that thing away. Mother called me doing that and made me. All right, stow it. I don't need to hear your personal history stories, son. This is my time machine, see? And by the way, it's not an ordinary. Gee, will it? Because it sure is small. Knock it off. I don't need to know what I already know, all right? Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll travel back to high school and save Mary one more time from marrying that awful bounder who became a disreputable senator. Oh, Mary, you're some cheerleader. Let me have that, those pom-poms. What's that, doll? Under the bleachers? You got it. Yes. Hey, don't give me the cold hard stare, kid. When you get middle-aged and spend each day in self-loathing, you'll understand. Believe me, you, you will. Hey, by the way, tell me, what year is this, anyhow? The sundial says it's 1175. This is England. Dragons roam the land. And we are also infested with cliches. Tell me about it. Well, you can travel the future. Ah, uh, yes, of course I can. Don't you listen? I told Caray, the cops are moving the last container. Get it back. Vamos! Um, I'm the Time Ranger. I like to travel through time and fight injustice. So tell me, boy, what do you do for fun? I like to torture animals and slow kids. Good for you. Tell me more about the future. Well, kid, let me tell you, things are a little different there. Might want to get a quill and write this down. You could learn something. Let me tell you a few things about life, oh, 800 years from now. First off, there's a big difference between excitement and what you call a arousal. But these new Franco penny arcades will give you either at any time. and emollients and rubs and ointments to make their, what do you call them, uh, testes reach the floor. You know what I'm talking about. Testicles, family jewels. And women, they paint their faces yellow and are sometimes called Brian walking the streets of the village. Uh, and that, my boy, is the future, like it or not. Hello, Richard. Have you burnt those plague victims yet? Who are you talking to? Mother, mother, this is my new friend. Why, I don't see anybody. I need you to get on with killing those lepers. But first, empty the chamber pots on their heads. No, really. It's the Time Ranger. He's from the future. He says in the future, unicorns go around pleasing women. Well, they try anyway. I can't well, believe you did it. Thing. Senor, it's been a pleasure so watching your work. Adios. Adios. I don't want any more of your silly ideas. Autoerotic asphyxiation, indeed. Tell me, does my pox look okay in this tub? The king is coming by to take me illicitly. Uh, how you doing, doll? Forgive me. Nice to meet you. I'm the, uh... Ranger. Good heavens! The ghost! No, it's the Time Ranger! That's what I just said. He's got a special mini thingy that when he rubs, helps him right the world's wrongs. He showed me! You did what with my son? Don't get oh. your knickers in a twist, sweetheart. I kept it on the up and up with the boy. Now, while it sounds confusing, it is in fact completely natural. And my own empirical research has definitely proved you don't go blind. Which is lucky for me. Besides which, I am from the future. And now, I know my mission. I must save you from this awful king who's coming to have his vicious way with you. I must overthrow this maniacal monarch and establish a, a democracy. Yeah, where people are free and everyone has cars and uh, double-enders. Well, yeah, that sounds about right. Well, 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 I appreciate your kind offer. But to be honest, since my husband got slaughtered by the Gothic hordes, I rather enjoy the king's visitation. It's the only action I get. Besides which, this water is a Senor, terrible... Senor, please, help me. No the Vikings are after me. I can't get away. Hi, Madre Dios. The king ensures we have enough grain, he drowns the witches and protects us from the dragon. All right, all right, I get it. This king must die. You don't got to spell it out for well, me. Well, we all must die. We all must die. But the real question is, will we go to the fiery pits to burn in eternal torment, or will we really suffer? Now, that's uh, where you're incorrect, dollface. You see, I'm from the future, like I told you. From 1938, where I live is just like heaven. Why, we even had a brief period recently where cocaine could be purchased from a pharmacist and the cheerleaders never grow old. Oh, that future sounds awful. Time Ranger, leave us to burn the lovers in peace. Your time here is done. Then, madame, if you'll excuse me, I must enter the dark recesses of time through this special portal I carry about my person. Oh, fiery heavens! Richard, avert your eyes! Ah, oh, it's so small! The Time Ranger is a eunuch! Woohoo! I heard that, good. And so our hero travels in time once more. Where to? He never knows. Wherever he is needed most, and whichever way his time machine points him, sometimes forwards, sometimes backwards, always fun if you're open-minded. Anyway, I'm, uh, from the future. Help me! Hello, Monsieur 
talking about, but these are terrible times. People are being slaughtered. What? What? We can't have that. Well, Please, please senor. Lady, the Time Ranger is here. My time machine must sense a disturbance. Yes, off with your head, off with your head. Either off with your head or off with your pretty skirts. They're abominable. Whatever that means, but tell me. Abominable. Who's, yes, yes, yes. Who's committing this atrocity, anywho? Uh, it's the revolting little peasants. The scum, they want food and not to be whipped. I mean, who ever heard of such a thing? <laughs> Thank you, senor. You're incredible. No problem. Where do you want me to drop you off? <laughs> oh, please, don't drop me, senor. <laughs> Take me to the car park. Gracias. Now you just bring that even bosom right over here. Yeah, yeah. Bosom. that's it. Yeah. Fantastic. Now, if you don't mind, I'm just going to rest my uh, time machine right between them. Uh, Mike's a little change of pace once in a while. Keep things spicy. Uh, now, with my magical powers, I will bring down the revolt and restore order to the world, and eventually, well, peace shall reign. Oh, monsieur, you are my only hope. All right, yeah, yeah. Now, don't be alarmed, sweetheart. You will feel a gentle rocking. Uh, Keep your hands to yourself. But I assure you, it is quite safe. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, quite safe. Yeah. Yeah. Them. I, I have already had one slow child. Well, then it'll be on your head, you foxy French harlot. Come on, let me have it. Oh. Oh, no. Gracias, senor. That was fantastic. Adios. No. Lance, get over here and explain yourself. Shh. Stop acting like a child. Shh. Don't you shush me. Keep your voice down. No. You can barely tie your own shoelaces. You telling me how to behave? Will you shut up, you stupid gorilla? The place is bugged. The DA is on to us. Happy now. Hey, where you going, man? We're gonna have bugs in all our places. And by the time you find them all, we'll be halfway through a long jail term. What am I supposed to do? These bugs transmit long range. So knock out all the police antenna. The DEA won't even get a signal from these things. is a special New World Order investigation into the terrors of the Far East. Bryce, would it be possible to have two virgins pull me around and rich or naked while I talk them about what democracy could do for them? Yes, I could sort that out. Excellent. Bryce Parker reporting from Thailand. Coming up, do cigarettes make you a cowboy? Millions of Chinese think so. We'll talk to Redwood Tobacco CEO Ken Silverman. But first, let's take some calls. Hello. Yeah, Dwayne, man. You got a great show. Uh, I wanted to ask, what's the deal with the one dollar bill? What do you mean? Well, there's an eyeball on top of a pyramid, and it says, and wheat comes in. I said, tell if that eyeball don't creep me out enough. It's like... One's gonna miss you. What now?
Couples go. Hey, Cindy. You have been a bad boy. You have been a bad girl. Oh. Ah. Oh, give it a rest, Rennie. I went to film school. I am an expert in everything. I love bullying people. I'm perfect. So why do I have to spend my time whipping you? For the art. Oh, you're so very bourgeois. Sweet, but so, so average. Go. It's over. You're fired. But Rennie... But Rennie, but Rennie. Rennie, you are fantastic, and I am so very mediocre. Now, go! Oh. <laughs> Darling, you are here to lighten my heart. Uh, not exactly. I love you. I love this man. Kiss me! Hey, hey, give me a break. I'll break you if you break me. I can't deal with this. Oh, darling, please. I need your help. It's a friend of mine, Gonzalez. <laughs> He's got to move a shitload of coke. <laughs> uh. Are you Gonzalez? Ah, you must be Victor. Eh, senor, I need to get my colonel's merchandise safely to Viceport. Your colonel? You're in the army? Not your army. Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez is my boss. I'll bear that in mind. Take my copter. My men will join you. Get them! 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 Get them!
forehead. They soon stop acting bad. After they've been dosed up with lead, and you will too. Here's how you can get one absolutely free. Just go to your nearest friendly napalm company in Florida dealer and get your dad to buy 300 gallons of the good stuff. And you'll get an application to join the public protection team right away. All you need to do is fill it in and get your dad to send a check for $10 payable to Napalm Promotions Incorporated. And before you know it, you'll be fighting crime in the burgeoning metropolis of my speech. Or down in the island with George Moore. Shoot Morton. down the copters! It won't cost you a penny. So what are you waiting for? As Jeremy Moorhead himself would say, you know who I am. I'm your chance More to... More boats incoming! Bang, bang, bang! And now to Gordon Moorhead in Moorhead Rise Again! Gordon Moorhead and the Exploding Crests! Last time, Moorhead was in Vice Beach, looking for a fisherman who had gone missing. The fisherman's daughter was explaining the circumstances of his disappearance. Then suddenly a shot rang out. The daughter was dead. Moorhead and Molly Malmsteen were immediately on the case. Moorhead was confident he knew who had just committed this dastardly act. I've lost many good men today. Men I cannot afford to lose if I am to protect my colonel's interests in the deal ahead. If you need a bodyguard, you can do a lot worse than me. For the right price, of course. Maybe so, but I can't trust anyone until I've discovered who leaked our arrival to those puta bandits. 